Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna show you my maker coin. I did a coin uh, the other day with my 3D models of my face and uh, of my head and, and put that on one side of the coin and on the other side of the coin I, I put my channel's logo on it uh, because I um, have the logo uh, on the other side and the face on the opposite side. I have been printing the maker coins on the sides, so the model is 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 really detailed uh, with my face. Uh, I want to show you the process. Uh, I have uh, done several versions and. The first version I did was really small and I had my face on it and, and my channel's logo on the other side. Uh, it was, I didn't, when I was printing this out I didn't realize how small it was, uh, but this was just my first, first try. Uh, my second version was a bit bigger and with my face on the other side and the channel's logo on this side uh, but it was really thick but and i wanted to have it uh, thinner so i ended up with this design uh, it has my name on top and the face is is uh, quite visible uh, and the channel's logo on the other side i created this part in fusion 360 uh, by importing the, the logo i had as a so stencil uh, and extruded it upwards. Uh, the sides are a little bit jacked, uh, so there are some textures on, on the side. Uh, then what I did with the uh, with the image, uh, the model of my head, I took the model in in mesh mixer and cut out. Uh, the lower part of my shoulder, uh, shoulders and neck and took the model and uh, made it a little bit thinner and fused it into the, the coin model so the, the face is, is like ha the half of the face but the width of the face is, is less than it actually is so the coin is, is not uh, so wide so it's it's like a maybe one half of the width of the, of the face but, but I'm gonna show you in Fusion 360 uh, the coin and in mesh mixers so in Fusion I started out with a sketch of my logo uh, I extruded that up uh, then I made another sketch of, of the, the coin and made it like this and extruded that. So this was the base model. Then I imported uh, the text for for my name. On the other side. And extruded that up. And uh, I made some fillets on, on, on the side I made this space here to, to uh, make the object easier to print to because I'm printing it on the on the bed like this so this is the bottom part I created the, the side objects uh, I made a, a fillet on the inner side so this is a side profile of the logo. So this was a coin in infusion and 
Uh, I exported this uh, and opened in in mess mixer where I have the the model of my head and I'll merge them together. Yeah, so in mess mixer I have my model. Uh, I scanned in using photos and and Agisoft PhotoScan. So to prepare this model, I had to uh, cut cut my head off, so to speak. So what I did was uh, create a, a cut plane, and, and I'm just gonna do it roughly in this demonstration. But uh, what I did was to to cut off the the lower part, like so, approximately. Uh, then I, uh, I'm just gonna cut this again. So, like I said, I'm just gonna do it roughly. Uh, then I cut off uh, them half of my face. Uh, So I'll leave maybe this half out. Uh, then I have this part here. Uh, I did another cut, uh, approximately like this, uh, to get the the neck uh, with a small tilt. Then I uh, did a transform. Uh, and just scale down maybe halfway through like this uh, when that was done I imported the the model of the coin and that was like this uh, just gonna rotate that a bit Rotate the head as well. And then I moved the moved the head in, in place. And I scaled scaled the head and like I said I'm just doing approximate approximate job here and when I had the head in place and in scale uh, you can see the the noise the nose uh, I was trying to align the noise so it would uh, be visible in the print because that part is really thin and I had to take care of that uh, then I created uh, a small box on the bottom uh, with this box object um, and I moved that into into place and, and scaled it down That was just to uh, get a good base for bed adhesion because the the model was really thin and I just roughly placed it like this and um, then I merged the models together uh, as a single STL file and made it ready for print. So this was a quick. Uh, demonstration of how I did the coin. I spent a lot of time adjusting the head and the, tie, the, the placement of this cut especially to, to get it uh, in a good place and, and also to get the noise, nose uh, correct uh, because it will be really thin in the, in the model. I also printed one copy with a color fab copper fill and I was trying to sand down the logo and, and 
uh, weather the the print uh, but it didn't came out very well I, uh, I have to find a better way to polish the the copper wheel it is difficult to sand it because of the models uh, especially here with the uh, letters uh, and here I could send the the letters but not the the base so it's not very good model for a copper fill uh, filament I think but I want to show you this so I've been printing this out uh, to give out and I think this will be my final version I might might add some text here on the on the site at a later time but uh, I'm quite happy with the result I got so far coin uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, got some ideas to make your own coins I think it will be a, a great uh, to give out the coin to other makers if I meet someone and I'll probably send out to someone uh, to exchange maker coins with in the future uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and, and thank you for watching <laughs>